Hi everybody, I'm Jen and welcome to the opensource.com weekly top five. This is a short little video bringing you the top five articles from the past week, a little snippet about who wrote them, what they're about, and then a link to um, providing you to be able to read the full article at length on the site. So at number five this week, we have Automation is the Key to the Cloud. In this interview, Jason Hibbets interviews James Schwartzer, an IT specialist in the IBM Watson Solutions Division. He interviews him about how automation is the foundation for self-service. Further, James tells us how he got involved in open source and explains the evolving role of systems administrators in the cloud. At number four, what does an adult look like in an open source community? Stephen Wally shares an insightful opinion piece about what it means to be a community, and he also explores how open source communities treat newcomers and the evolution of the cycle from beginner to seasoned contributor. At number three, Sourcegraph, a free code search tool for open source developers. Charles Vickery shares this article about Sourcegraph a search engine and code browser to help developers find better code and build software faster. Charles tells us why Sourcegraph is the better choice for digging through the gold mine of open source code out there to find just the right library. At number two, six reasons people with disabilities should use Linux. Spencer Hunley is an open source assistive technology enthusiast and an advocate for people with disabilities. He has presented at LinuxCon 2013 and 2014 about how accessible and assistive technology would benefit from more Linux and open source contributors and how people with disabilities can be an asset for the Linux and open source communities. In this article, he gives us six solid reasons people with disabilities should consider Linux. Finally, at number one, number one, eight Linux file managers to try. David Both brings us another great resource for Linux users. He reviews eight Linux file management programs that are intended to streamline and simplify those necessary chores, like locating files, determining which files and folders are taking the most disk space, deleting files, moving files, and finally opening files for use in an application. All right, everybody, that's it this week. Thanks so much for joining me, and hopefully I will see you again next time.